Let's take a look at how to create a classroom calendar using Google Calendar. And as you can see, I'm in my Google Calendar, and I have actually several different calendars set up, the different colors, each one representing a different calendar. So I've got a family calendar with family events. I have a sports calendar with sporting events. And of course, you can decide how to break this, these kinds of things out yourself. But I want a separate calendar for my students and for the events of my classroom, and I want only those events to be on that calendar. Here are the steps I have to take to make that happen. I'm going to go here on the left, click on the little drop-down button for My Calendars, and choose Create New Calendar. I'm going to name it. If I want to, I can put in a description about the calendar and a location. If I want to, I can put a time zone, all of these different options. Now I click Create Calendar, and if I select this little arrow to the side of my calendar, notice that a new calendar appears. If I want a different color code for it, all I have to do is click this little box and choose a different color. The next step is simply to create an event. So let's say on Wednesday the 12th, there is a, an exam. I can either click and drag on the specific time for this exam, or I can click at the top and create an all-day event. When creating a new event, it's important that I click and change to the, the calendar that I want the event to appear on. Then click Create Event. Notice that the event comes in on the appropriate calendar and is all ready to go. I'll add one more event. Let's say Friday at 8 a.m. there's a field trip. I'm going to click and drag and release, type in the event title, and choose the appropriate calendar. Click Create Event. Okay, so I've got another calendar. The thing is, it's just showing up for me when I go to my Google Calendar. It's And of course, the nice thing about Google Calendar is all of these events, all these different calendars show up on one screen. But I would like to give my students access to this Earth Sciences calendar. For that to happen, all I need to do is go click on my calendars and find the exact calendar that I would like to share. Next, click the button next to it and choose Calendar Settings. Once you've created a calendar, and I like to create an event or two before doing this, but at least having created a calendar, you go to those uh, calendar settings and you'll see that there's an option to embed this calendar. And it gives you a code. I just triple clicked on the code to highlight it. Some people prefer to click in the upper left corner and then drag forever to get the, you know, to get the whole thing selected. But it's really best to just triple click and it highlights all the text. Then I'll copy it. Now all I have to do is find my classroom website. Whatever you use as your class website, go to it. I'm going to click the little plus sign at the top of the screen. And at this point, I would just go to whatever website builder is used for, for my website. It could be Weebly. It could be Google Sites. And there are many other website building tools out there. Uh, and they'll all be somewhat similar, although Google Sites is quite a bit different. But um, I would like to show you how to, how to add your calendar now on Weebly and also on a Utah tool called MyUEN. And that part will only be applicable to viewers in Utah. So first, with Weebly. So here's my class website in Weebly. I've logged into my account, and I'm ready to, to work on it. I'd like to add that Google Calendar so that parents and students can see it. All I have to do is make sure I'm on the Build tab in Weebly. And you can see all the different tools I can add to it, or components I can add to it. If you browse down the page, there's a, an option for Embed Code. And I'll just click and drag that where I want it to be, and then click to set custom HTML. I'll paste in the code from Google Calendar. You can see I've pasted it in there in the box. With Weebly, all you do is you then click outside the box, and it pulls in the Google Calendar for everyone to see. And notice that it's only bringing in the, the school-related, the class-related events. None of my personal events are showing up there at all. I would, with Weebly, I would then have to publish uh, the page and make it visible to the world. 
So that's just one example. I realize that. And there's many other website builders out there, even Blogger, uh, like I said before, Google Sites. Uh, there's so many. But um, just wanted to show you how it's possible to add it to a website like Weebly. Let's take a look now at a Utah tool, only applicable to, to Utah teachers. It's called MyUEN. And here you can see I have just a typical generic calendar on my site, but it's really not very functional. So I would like to just get rid of it and replace it with a Google Calendar. I'll just click the X, click OK, and it's gone. To add a Google Calendar, I simply click Add Page Content. A little window pops up. I choose Messages, and you can pick any kind of message here. Click Add. A little box will appear that you can then drag over if you want to. And I'm going to just click on the name Parent Notes and highlight it and change it to be Calendar. And then I'll click the Edit button. And I'm always tempted to just paste in the code here for my calendar, but that's not right. Instead, I should click this little tiny HTML button an editor appears, or an interpreter, I like to think of it as a, a code interpreter, and then I paste in the code, click update, save, and close. Now you can see my Earth Sciences calendar appears right on my page without any personal events appearing. So that's how you can add a Classroom Google Calendar to a website.